Hello everyone, I'm Justin, and for today's video, we are getting protected by witches. Play the music. Witchcraft Works is a 2014 anime produced by JC Staffs, focusing around Honoka Takamiya, an average looking guy that spends his days without doing much, and Ayaka Kagari, the school idol and the churchwoman daughter. Ayaka is a beautiful, intelligent and tall girl standing over a head told at Honoka. Our main story focuses around Takamiya finding out that the city is filled with witches and they are all about get getting him because of some entity living inside of him. And the main role of Kagari is to protect him and give him love, all of this while having the facial expressions of a rock. Yes, we are getting a Kudere over here. There will be major spoilers ahead of the whole anime including the ending, as well as some minor comments about the manga. So with that said, let's move on to review this anime, the good, the bad and its ending. Animes never stop surprising me with their unique ideas, and this is yet another one of them. As I mentioned, the story focuses on our small ordinary guy who just get protected by his beautiful tall girl as well as some other girls such as his little sister. All of this while being attacked by different witches as well as mythical monsters such as Medusa, who in this anime apparently is also a witch. There are two main factions of these witches, the workshop witches who are, who are protagonists and most of the city witches belong to. Uh, their main job is protecting the city and maintaining the status quo. And then the tower witches, who just use their own magic for their own reasons and mostly for evil deeds. One thing that stands out to me to this anime compared to other rom-com slash action animes is that in this case our protagonist is the one getting protected by a strong girl, which to me is a breath of fresh air as we almost always get the same cliche guy protects the princess animes that are so overused that there are no new interesting ideas about it maybe with the exception of Heaven's Lost Property. And then, we give her a personality with low social skills just to make it more interesting, as we see all the efforts that she's making trying to protect, care and show her love to our main protagonist. I had to admit, the whole episode where they show the night interaction where Kagari just sits in front of Takamiya just watching him sleep and hiding when he's about to wake up was both hilarious and cute. <sighs> Another thing to mention is the fight scenes. Yes, this anime may not have the most fight scenes since this is not the main point of the story, but whenever we see a fight we know what we are getting into. Medusa vs Kigari, Tampopo vs Kasumi, Kronar vs Weekend, so many good fight scenes and while the CGI may not be on point sometimes, the effects and the sequences are really good for a 2014 anime. I also believe that the world building is a key element for a good anime. If the rules of physics of this world make no sense, you cannot invest yourself into it. And to me, I feel the explanations that we get across episodes regarding why the city always goes to back to normal the next day, or why Kagari never gets damaged and many other things submerge me deeper into the plot and keeps me engaged wanting to learn more about it. On the comedy side, we get the Five Tower Witches, which I believe their official name is the Ivory Quintet. While Tampopo was the main villain for the episode 1, she gets relegated to comedic relief with her four friends, working as low-level minions for Medusa and trying to plan to kidnap Takamiya, that always fails, ending up with them being tortured by Kagari. Even the ending son makes fun of them, depicting them in their chibi form, being burned or tortured like the witches in Salem. Oh, and I forgot to mention, that ending song is a banger. Mm -hmm. 
And with that said, let's move on to our next topic. A thing that I have to mention across many videos is that I hate CGI. It feels like a cheap way to animate the background or accomplish characters. And we get exactly that with Medusa, the bunnies and the bears, and some other things, which take away the other good elements of the show at some point. Aside from that, I wish there was a bit more development in the main character's romance, that because of Kagari's Kudera attitude, we never get to see more strong lovey-dovey moments between them. But I guess maybe we will get that in a second season. Also, give me some more fan service, please. Okay, so let's move on to our last topic. For the ending of Witchcraft Works, we get a three-part episode in which a witch, known as Weekend, comes to attack the city in order to get Takamiya's power. She uses explosives both magical and non-magical, which shows to be a threat to the city, as the Sosos everyone's can be protected against magical attacks, but not against normal ones. And while Wiccan tries to bomb the shelter where all the people are, Honoka makes a deal with Evermillion, the mysterious being inside of him, to save everybody, giving his life in exchange. But Kagari takes his place before that happens. Thus, defeating Weekend, who then end up fighting against a powerful witch known as Kronar. <laughs> Using his blood and a kiss, Takamiya restores Kagari's consciousness, and everything goes back to normal, with the Tower Witches attacking Takamiya yet again in his way to school, only to be defeated by Kagari. <laughs> <laughs> While this is just a partial ending, the show gives a really interesting premise and pushes it through 12 episodes that keeps you engaged one after the other. And with the recent trends of getting new seasons of older animes like Loco Horizon or Devil is a Part-Timer, I'm hopeful that they, we will get a second season sometime soon. As the, manga, as the manga has shown that it delves deeper into the mystery on how Kagari and Takamiya are connected in their childhood. But for now, we will have to wait. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this anime review. What did you guys thought of which work works? Is Kudere your thing? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, see you guys next time.